Hey everyone, my name is Angel, and welcome to a Minecraft video on the next update. I don't know what update this is, I want to say 51, TU51 or 52, but I might be way off because I forgot. But, um, it is the update where the Glide minigame came out, and it's pretty sick. Also with the new Glide minigame, we got a new game lobby, a minigame lobby, so for battle mode, tumble and the glide mini game we're gonna have this lobby right here so as soon as the update came out i went looking for secrets because that's the what i did on the last one and there wasn't as many secrets as i thought there was on the last map but this one this one's juicy with secrets this one's spewing secrets it took me two hours to figure it out but i ended up figuring it out so i'm gonna show you the main secret that or what i think is the main secret big juicy secret okay so here we go first things first it is about the heads the mob heads okay so here's one of them i think i want to say actually look, look let's do this one first okay so you're gonna come in here you're gonna get this water bottle or the bucket of water and turn it right there all right like that okay you're like oh wow that's kind of cool right and these doors are going to be open. These doors were closed, but now they're open. So you're going to shut the water off. Like the water shut off. And that button does turn on the water again. But we'll get to that later. So the fountain right here, the water shuts off. Like What the heck? What the heck is going on? See? All right. So then you oh, wait first. First, 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 first. Actually, no, it's not popped up yet. Okay. We'll get that one soon show you the main place flip that switch in there and then this is open you don't take fall damage so you can just fall down here and there is a way back up so here we go this is the craziest thing i was freaking out because i was like what the heck it kind of felt creepy a little bit it felt a little bit like just like what the heck is going on so if you don't recognize it already this is the old battle I keep on saying battle because that's all I played, but this is the old mini game lobby. It's just all worn down and stuff like that and underground, which is weird. It's kind of like a, like they just drop the new one on top of this one and then was like, eh, well, let's just make it all dirty and then call it a day. You hear that noise? That noise kind of scares me when I was down here just looking around and I was quiet. I wasn't talking. I wasn't doing anything. I was just looking around trying to find it. I haven't seen this door. What the heck? I didn't see this door here before i guess that's the way out and there one on this side too there is oh weird anyways so i did most of it and i couldn't find the zombie head and then like i found the zombie head after a while and then i was like i don't want to know what it does so we're gonna get all the heads and then um we're gonna see what happens the first head just um making this as easy as possible um you can drop down here there's another way to get here and i guess i will show y'all might as well right so you remember this it was where the switch was from up there you would step on the pressure plate and then it's like the, this little block right here would move there'd be a switch like right here or something but you come down here right and you go up to this chest and in the chest is the wither skull you're just gonna need one and I'm just going to show you all an example of what y'all need to do if you want to do it for yourselves. And here we go. So here it is. You don't really need to put it in an exact place. I would just put it right here because it's boom. It disappears instantly. And you hear it go. And there it is. It lights up. So we just got to collect all the heads and see what happens. I didn't put the zombie head in. I found the zombie heads, but I didn't pick it up and put it in. I just like left, but I got all the other heads. They were crazy. It's kind of weird because there's other things you can do on the map that are really cool, but you don't know if they connect or not. I thought they would connect, but it. I tried. I experimented so much. You're not going to find any heads down here, like in the old battle mode. There's not really anything you can do. I think it's just like having it down here is just like, oh, wow, that's nostalgic as F. You come up here. It's all broken down. There's the creeper heads, but there's no buttons, so you can't get them out. Climb up this ladder, and you're going to be back up at the um, at the 
new lobby yay wow another easy one to get would be the skeleton because it's just an arrow shot so you go find the arrows the arrows are going to be up in these trees and we'll get to the stuff on the walls that you see like that that's not really that crazy as far as i know it only does um do you, do you, what do you call them what do you call them what do you call them fireworks it only does fireworks so you shoot them all i i usually shoot them down from up and then fireworks go off other than that i haven't really found a use for them so that up there is gonna be uh where you get the skeleton head so we're gonna try and shoot it from i guess right here it should land on the slime Oh, that was close. That should be it. There we go. Alright. So there's the skeleton head. The skeleton head is uh, on top of the tower. Right there. So if you were looking at it, it's across from the two lights, kind of, on that side. Just look up and you'll find it. Easy peasy, right? So you're going to go over here, and then you're just going to do it again. Doesn't matter where. Just put it in there. It'll go in the dropper. And then it's going to pop up in there. Bam, lit. Okay. Oh, I never showed y'all with the wither thing. So where I found the wither skull, you can get there from at the bottom from the old lobby. Or you can go over here. And there's two identical towers on each side. There's one over here and one over there. Or pff, one over here and one over there. So you're going to go over here. And this is a door that will open up. You just have to find the right switch. So for the lava side, it's going to be up the stairs and in this little crack right here, right? And on the other side, it's going to be at the bottom. And I want to say on the other side, it's going to be like down here somewhere. It's just going to be a little hole. You will probably go over there and find it, but there's not really a head over there. Actually, I think I, no, 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 no. There's not a head over there. We'll go check it out anyways. But yeah, you go down here and then right here would be the chest. And yeah, so um either way is good just know that if you go from the battle mode lobby up you're not going to be able to get out through the top because you need to open the door with that lever so the next head the next head is going to be steve head so um there's a lot going on in the map there is combinations i don't know exactly where all the swords are but i'm gonna show you right here and if later you want to go look for them you can Here's another thing too, like what I was saying. There's a lot of stuff going on. So you walk in this room and there's these buttons and it's like, where's the swords and stuff like that. I got lost frequently, very frequently. So um, just kind of get to know the map before you go looking for things and yada yadas. The swords are right here. And it's going to be this. And this, just that, having the diamond sword like that opens these doors these doors have snowballs in them don't really know why haven't found a use for them yet actually yes i have and i use them for um one of the cds which if you want i can show y'all where the cds are too but we'll get into that later right now i just want to focus on the heads so it's going to be that that right there if y'all want to stop right there look at that that's the combination and then that glows, and then this opens in the middle. And then there's the Steve heads. You're gonna grab the head, and you're gonna go put it on the thing. But first, we are gonna go to the switches, the ones or the buttons. The buttons were very difficult. I got lucky, and hopefully, I can get lucky again because all I did was go down this way. I went gold, iron, diamond, emerald really fast, and it opened. And there you go. So there's the zombie heads right there. So you just want to go gold, iron, diamond, emerald really fast, as fast as you can. I don't know exactly how fast, but just do it as fast as you can and you'll get the zombie head. And if I'm not mistaken, all we need now is the creeper heads. Right? Yeah. Okay. Creeper head, creeper head, where are thou? Here we go. And that's the Steve head. And here's the zombie head. Now the creeper head. Hold on. Zombie head. 
so the creeper head is going to be back up top like all the rest and it's going to be like right near the fountain here i'll just come show you i'm getting lost up here i keep on forgetting you can turn the water back on when the water fountain is open if you know what i'm saying like the big hole in the ground you can turn it back on and you can swim up it just affects the water so the water fountain the creeper head is going to be right here we just have to open the switch and honestly i kind of forgot i'm trying to remember i know it's like angel like you you suck like at this like this is I gotta do is remember another thing that I just don't understand because there was no like nothing happened is at the top of both towers um you're gonna want to go to the towers the lava and the water towers you're gonna want to go up both of them doesn't matter which one goes first or maybe it does maybe it does matter which one goes first but I think they do the same thing so you're going to go up here and there's going to be a pressure plate throw one right there since it's wood it'll be weighted down and then you're going to go to the other one and i had trouble finding the zombie head now i'm having trouble finding the creeper head so you're going to come up here you're going to put that oh you're going to put that there fireworks they activate on top of those towers but in here there's the elytra wings i got in there one time i spawned right on the uh the glass little platform right there when i won i won three rounds in a row i don't know if that's how you get there but that's how i was there last time and i didn't really know so there's the fireworks there boom and i think that's how you activate it because they're creeper things creeper um no, see, it's still not open. I thought it would be because of the, uh, the, uh, creeper fireworks. But apparently not. Apparently not. So there's another one. Um, as far as I know, that's pretty much it with these things. And there it goes. Oh wait, it is, it is. Okay, so you do that, it does activate it, but if you do it again, it closes the door back. Okay, duh, okay, 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 okay. So there's the creeper head. Here we go, guys. Here's where things start getting juicy. Oh, um, oh man, okay, let's do this. Y'all ready? Back in the old battle mode, in the bold pff, mini game lobby, here we go. So, all the heads activate open the doors they open both doors it doesn't matter which one i go in oh my god dude what the heck dragon heads oh man what wait please don't tell me you just get a dragon head i swear to god if i just did this for a dragon head i thought it was the biggest secret and that's what you get a dragon head oh my god I'm disappointed, but I don't know what else I expected. I expected, like, a glitch. A glitch in the game or something. I don't really know exactly what I expected, but this is it. Wow. Okay. Well, at least you found out where all the heads are. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.